Good morning, my name is Shaul and I'm from Pangolin Photo Safari. I'm here on the Chobi River this morning and um, I would like to talk to you about rim lighting. We were just fortunate now to have a beautiful juvenile fish eagle with, um, with rim light. So I'm going to explain you quickly how we just did it. Unfortunately it just flew away but we managed to get a couple of shots and I would like to talk to you how I just um, photograph this image. If you like our content, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button to be notified for the next video. I'm going to quickly talk to you how I just took this image. So of course, if you would like to do rim lighting, ideally it would be early morning or late afternoon when the sun is just above your horizon. So in this case, the fish eagle was sitting nicely for us. The sun just, just came over the hill. Don't forget to, when you do rim lighting, that the sun is behind your subject. So you basically have to shoot almost into the light onto your subject. And with the sun coming from behind, it should make a nice rim around your um, subject. Um, I'm going <clears> to <throat> explain you how I did it. So there's two ways you can go and do it. Ideally, it would be if you use spot metering. So spot metering, um, you can then focus with your, with your focus point on the edges of the um, fish eagle and then your camera should give you quite the accurate um, meter. In my case, I'm used to shoot with evaluative light metering, so I knew from the beginning I need to underexpose. In my case, I did start already with minus three. Um, when I looked through my images, I found that I could go a little bit more. So I did underexpose by minus five. Um, you can clearly see nicely the rim, how it comes through. The light comes nicely through the edges of the bird. Animals that work good for rim lighting is baboons, um, water bucks, um, because of the long hair they have, um, birds with long feathers. So you can really give it a try um, and do rim lighting on the specific animals. So please don't forget to shoot into the light and then underexpose. Um, it often happens that when you look in the back of your camera that um, you think it is, it's dark enough. So if, if you have that image, try and push it a little bit further. As soon as you will import your images on your post-production, you will see that it's actually not as dark as you thought it might be. So and that is why on this specific image, I went as much as minus five. And um, on my back screen, it looks, it looks dark, but I think it is just the way I would like to have it. So if you have any questions regarding rim lighting, please leave a comment down below. And um, thank you for watching.